Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Welcome back to another mom vlog. I'm with my mom again, and we just pulled up to at home. I haven't been here in a while. I'm kind of excited, <laughs> to be honest, because it's like the biggest home decor store that we really have around here. Um, so we're gonna look around for some stuff. They got all the summer and spring stuff out. Yeah, the big- $49.50 for like one that's this tall. The big fake plants are expensive. My my big, big one that I have in my room was $100. <laughs> if I'm Target. I kinda low key wanna get some real plants. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even bother getting real plants. Okay, so basically we are today shopping for, well, we weren't supposed to be taking a shopping trip today. We were supposed to be having a meeting. <laughs> we originally, I took Zaya to school this morning and then me and my mom originally were meeting up because we were supposed to be having a, a meeting, a, a, a Skype meeting with someone. And um, we, I would say we, but she, had the time wrong. So our meeting is basically canceled for now. So we're like, okay, what else are we gonna do with our time today? So we decided to come shopping for home decor stuff. I always am in the mood to shop for home decor. My home is never decored enough and she wants to springitize her home. So she was saying, Explain to the people what you want to do to your home. I want to add color. You know, my my new, my um, color palette is really neutral. It's like grays and there's a little bit of uh, chartreuse green. But I have an inspiration picture. I she mean, texted me this picture a while back and asked me if she could have some of my fake plants <laughs> because she well, needs more plants to make this um, come true. Although this doesn't look anything like my house, I love. <laughs> I love the greens and the yellows and the like the terracotta color. So I have a real plant that I bought that I need like a terracotta orange color or a yellow pot for it to go into. And then I just want to add more green. Looking at the fake plants because she's totally out of my budget. I can, I'm not paying seventy nine dollars. That's why I told her they're expensive. This one's kind of cute. Especially the ones that are bigger and that actually look real. Oh. <laughs> These big ones, they're always like $59, $79. At, home, at, at, we're at, at home, but at home goods, sometimes they're cheaper, but they don't usually have as many to choose from. Like it's more of a, just whatever they have that day. So here they have a really big selection. And I feel like I look weird because I took all my eyelash extensions off. Things that I still want for my house are in my bedroom. I just don't have anything on the walls at all. Especially above my bed, it's a big open empty space. So just, I always wanted a neon sign and that never <laughs> came through. So I don't know if I should put like a big mirror up there. It's just some artwork or a gallery wall of multiple little artworks. This is cool. I mean, I wasn't sure if I should put something like sculptural above my bed like that type of thing. I don't know, I just get tired of home decor easily. I get tired of having the same stuff in my house and looking at it every day and then after I look at it five times, I hate it. <laughs> it doesn't look good to me anymore as when I first bought it. All these coffee, coffee based decor. It's real trendy right now. And now they wanna have all gold everything. Back when I was first looking for gold stuff, it just didn't even exist. I like these little tapestry thingies. And now they're starting to be more mainstream where you can find them for cheaper. It used to, when it first became a trend, they were all handmade and cost like $500. Now they're starting to sell them in stores. This one is 30, this one's still 54. But it's hard to find one in store that fits your exact color palette. So you can get them made custom from like Etsy and stuff, which I thought about doing, but they're so expensive, which I mean, it, they look like they are a lot of work to make, so I see why they're expensive, but still. They got a lot of country time cooking stuff in here. I hate that style of decor. You're going for the Magnolia vibe? Chip and Joanna Gaines? I would love that, but I just don't know. It's like I'm missing some stuff. I don't know what else to do. Okay, but Chip and Joanna Gaines doesn't match. It looks like that. It's about that big, but it has um, white letters on it that say grocery. 
No, what I was saying is that doesn't match with the inspiration photo that you just showed me. No, That's not just the inspiration photo, it's just colors. But you notice how they don't ever use color. <laughs> like it doesn't like really go colors. together. Which they use all this like old repurposed, uh, whitewashed, neutral, mixed metals, mm -hmm. rustic. Look like it was from some old farmhouse. Ooh, I like this. That's nice. That goes with your house. Yeah. It's kind of similar to what I was trying to do. Between this one and this one is similar to what I was trying to do with the artwork that I made, which I'm honestly tired of looking at. If anybody wants to buy it, you can have it. They got a, some different ones down here that look like they match my... No, uh, Waves. I just like the way the gold leaf looks with the blush pink. See, like stuff like this, I don't understand. Why would you buy this to put in your home? Uh, this is a cute, I don't know if y'all can see that up there. That would be good, like if you had kids to put like their chore list on there. If you had three oh, kids, you could clip right. there. Right, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> hey, all the family vloggers that I've been watching, they, I've been like hooked on family vloggers who have like 11 kids or 12 kids and see like how they run their life and organize their daily routine and they all use like chore lists and stuff like that uh, yeah this does kind of make me want to make another set of artworks i'm kind of getting tired of the original ones that i made do like a different pattern i like that one because it kind of looks like a geode rock thing this is pretty with the flowers but of course it's not really my color scheme but I like how they incorporated the gold leaf on there. And a lot of it really does look hand, like, hand painted, like it's really textured. How do they do that? I see them use a lot of, like in the other aisle, all those little things, like things, not necessarily paintings, but like little repurposed objects that are turned into artwork or like, um, like I've seen where they'll take something that wasn't something that's on paper that wasn't originally supposed to be art but they turned it into art like some sort of farm list of you know what i mean yeah. like you take a piece of paper that's like a list of something for the farm but they framed it and mm -hmm. used it as artwork or um like when you take dried plants like you know when they have the, the plant that's like flattened on the paper and then it's like labeled what kind of plant that is or something? Where it's like almost like scientific. Huh. But yeah, definitely a lot of like shiplap, whitewash, rope, maybe just photographs, black and, black and white photos. Definitely stuff with text, like written stuff. I love that. I mean, I'm, there's um, subway signs that have cities on it and they're really big. I think you can maybe get order one on Etsy, or it could be like your or maps, like th this type of stuff. I feel like this is a little bit more masculine. I would see it like if Daddy had his own office, yeah. that would go in his office. But you know, not that's not really something I would put in a kitchen or a living room. But yeah. that type of style, I feel, is what they would choose rather than like this this painted stuff. I always see stuff like this in stores and it just makes me think like for $21 I can make that like I could get some watercolor get a big brush and then do some text over it use gold foil leaf or whatever and make it actually say what I want to say because a lot of time it says like really corny stuff on there but I really don't need any more I just need stuff to go in my bedroom to go above my bed but I don't know if I want like this type of canvas stuff or what this one mm -hmm. i don't i don't like it because it's like you don't even know what that is it just it just makes me feel good to look at it <laughs> it's somewhere in paris i think it is in paris cafe de dues de Dukes. i've been looking at this type of stuff where it's a pink background with plants on it for my room <laughs> that one is the shade of pink is more bright than I think the other ones I was looking at but I saw a gallery wall where it was that type of stuff but it was different type of leaves on each one see I feel you've got like three different themes going on you've got the magnolia farmhouse you've got the this kind of I don't know what you would call this more eclectic a little bit more like 
natural hippie-ish almost. And then you've got the succulents, what do you call that style? Like the Junglo on Instagram vibe. And those are all three totally separate I mean, do you have styles. To you don't have to, but it's really hard to, I think it's sometimes hard to make them go together all in one room. It's easier to stick with one, but you don't, you don't have to at all, but you have to find ways to make it go together. You can do farmhouse theme with a pop of color, but like you can't mix, like I wouldn't mix the farmhouse theme with like that other, this other thing that you just pointed to over there with the blobs of color. So something more like this or something similar where there's just like writing that's framed. I would like to see it even more um, kind of like if it was maybe written on parchment and then matted and framed or something like that. And that's something that like you just said, it's really expensive when you try to buy it, but I feel like you can DIY it and make it more custom, make it say what you want it to say if you don't find one that's um, reasonably priced because they charge a lot of money for that distressed, handmade looking stuff. Just like anything that has metallic gold on it. What do I need it for? I don't know. See, this is, this is the Magnolia stuff where it's literally found objects from a farm. <laughs> I feel it's like all they use. You don't need that. Like that's just a random thing. But like with these little milk jugs and jars and they love these spindle things. Yeah, I probably need those. And I've got the silver ones still on my um on my um seventeen dollars. <laughs> this is farmhouse. I don't know what that's for, male I guess. But you already have one of those, right? This is kind of farmhouse, this is farmhouse. All this whole row is farmhouse stuff. I have an obsession with these pointless statue things. It's a little giraffe. I like this. For like Zaya's room or something. Yeah, I'm tired of my pineapples and they're bringing back the pineapples now for summer. And I'm over pineapples. They've got spindle thingies down here. Is that what they're called, spindles? They've got more of the glam looking metallic ones, but then they've got just plain ceramic white. They're probably $17. Oh, How that's much? $17.99. I knew it. $17.99. There's, there's these, which are kind of, oh, it has a little bit of a metallic to it. Now see, here they go with the cotton stuff. Why? This isn't allowed. Here's your yellow and orange and they even have your pre-existing chartreuse that you already have that color in your home. See I feel like you could get like up there they have kind of the green that you already have in the living room and then the yellow that you want. Maybe get both so that it ties it together and put like if you were doing a tablescape have green and yellow so it, it at least links up with the living room. I feel like you need to kind of mix the rooms together so it, it like coordinates. I like these types of, this is like what I have on my, this type of holder thing I have near, but I don't like that plant that's in it. It looks fake, huh? And here, what is, what is this? <laughs> I hate this. Cotton stuff. They got just strips of cotton. What are you supposed to do with this? That's just weird to me. Oh, you know what I need? For in my filming room, I have my little white office chair, but it annoys me. I think I mentioned this before. It annoys me how you can see the back of the chair when I'm like doing my videos and my pictures and stuff. I want like a little stool chair. That way you can't see the chair behind me. Mm -hmm. And I saw one, it's like a spinning stool chair thingy. I keep seeing it at Home Goods, but I keep not getting it. And then I searched for it online and I could not find any type of chair like that for some reason. Okay, well, let's go to Home Goods and then we'll go pick up Zion and then we'll do the other stuff. All right, well, nothing from here. Never mind. All right, so we're kind of in a time crunch now because I think it's like 11.30 and we got to pick up Zaya by one. But we're going over to World Market real quick. I was saying like Michael's Hobby Lobby. Home Goods, TJ Maxx, those are all good places for wall art and fake plants. Um, especially Michaels or Hobby Lobby, I feel like they always have it like on sale with the fake plants and stuff. The thing about World Market is I feel like they don't change or update their stock very much, so 
like last time I went to World Market, which was several months ago, like around Christmas, I think, or before Christmas, like I remember looking at this same artwork. But yeah, they don't really like update their stuff that much, I feel like. Yeah, because I remember looking at the llamas and all this stuff is still the same. That's a nice fake cactus. It looks kind of real. Ooh, look at this plant. Yeah, it looks pretty real. For two hundred dollars, <laughs> it's two hundred. It better poke me when I stick. One ninety nine. I told you, big plants are expensive. How much you think this one is? I don't know. This is like a a six, a, not even like eight feet tall. And it's at a really nice thingy. I'm gonna guess four ninety nine. If that cactus is one ninety nine. This one gotta be $4.99. It's not even coming in the pot. Oh, it's only $2.49. <laughs> they say the pot fooled you. you thought oh, the pot doesn't come with no. it? That's why. This one is $129. This is a good buy then for one forty nine. It's not really that tall. Oh, because the pot was tricky. I thought it, it I thought it came with the pot, that's why. It weighs like 50 pounds. Indoor use only. Faux banana tree. That's nice though, I like that. The pot really sets it off. Oh, I kinda want another poof to go in my living room. This is cute. That one looks more, more fakey. It does. That one looks... It looks like something you put outside though. Faux prickly pear, $1.99. Looks pretty real though. I still like this thing. This is cool. But Zaya would get a hold of this and break it so fast. This is cute, but I don't know what it is. Marble and gold. There's my pink chair. And cute little plants. I like these little colorful ones. So cute and little. All right, so didn't get anything at At Home. Didn't get anything at World Market either. Now we are at Home Goods. And uh, my mom actually just did some shopping at Home Goods yesterday, trying to get all the stuff that she wanted for her house. She said she, you got like $200 worth of stuff. So she did get some stuff, but. Um, well, a rug was the biggest part of it. That rug still was cheaper than the one, I, that ratty one I had. I bought a rug, I bought the wooden sign, I bought a plant, I bought a runner, table runner. And I've been coming to this Home Goods a lot. And I last few times I've been coming here, I haven't been able to find really anything that good. But I wanted to come here to look for that chair, like I said. I can see how somebody might want this for their beauty, beauty room, vanity, plastic, acrylic, princess chair. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. All right, I'm gonna go straight back here and see if they have that little chair I was talking about. Come on, they don't have it. How are you? Good. Can you find any more goodies? Um, I'm right here with my daughter. Hi. Was, yeah, hi. My husband liked everything. He said, like, you did good. Yay. <laughs> yeah. I'm so glad. Yeah, so now. And the rug? It's perfect. Yay. Yes. Yeah, so Good much better than what I had in I'm there. so glad. Good to see you, Tony. Thank you. Nice to meet you, daughter. I'm Raven, by the way. She <laughs> shops in here a lot. Yeah, you're, oh. I'm surprised you haven't seen me. <laughs> I look a little pink stool that matches with the chairs that I have. It has the same wooden legs and everything. Yeah, because it's ugly. It's an ugly olive tree. Ugly? <laughs> You know, this, cause this isn't the, the trendy new vibe. What's the trendy vibe? Like the, the more tropical banana tree, succulents, uh, what's this called? This type of big leaf plant. Yeah, you like this one? Eh, it's okay, it's a little bit plasticky. It is a lot plastic. <laughs> That's the problem. That's why I just need to get some good So the ones that look real and are on trend are more expensive. About this? It's not really on trend either. It's not the right kind of plant. Yeah, that's a nice one. And this type of plant is easier to not look fake. Looks more real. How much is it? Seventy. Seventy. I mean, that's 
Not bad for that size. That's a big size. I want to go to Hobby Lobby, to be honest. That's one place that I never go that I always forget about that. I think uh, might have some stuff. At least people say that, that there's good stuff there and people always tweet me pictures of like, I'm at Hobby Lobby and I saw this and I thought of you. Okay, so the new title of this video is gonna be Home Decor Shopping Fail. Cause we've been to like 57 places that haven't bought anything. Now we're at Hobby Lobby. This is store number four. This is the fourth store we've been to today. Haven't bought anything. Um, I wanna see what their prices. See, I see a fake plant in the window. Let's see how their prices compare. See, they got a lot of furniture and stuff in here. See, this is a cute, I like this uh, art. It's like watercolor, plants and feathers. 50% off. It's $100, 50% off. What a lie. <laughs> no, because remember in World Market, the, that. That's a nice one though. That's, I like that one. You like that one? Originally, 199, 50% off, $100. And it's like that cactus in World Market was $200. Same size. See, here, here it is again. See, those look nice. They look pretty real. It's a big size. It's in a nice pot. Didn't you just get paid? <laughs> I seem to recall a PayPal <laughs> withdrawal <laughs> from my account. Here's a yellow pot. Yeah, that's the same yellow pot. No, it's not. You could uh, get a $1 terracotta pot and paint it yellow. <laughs> I mean, they, they have the this, this streamlined ones that don't have the lip on it. I like that one better than this classic kind and just paint it yellow. You can even put a little design on it. <laughs> DIY, here's the tall one. And for $60. 50% off. Oh, they 50% off $60? I think. Floral arrangements. Cause this is the. Oh, so all the things are This is $59.99 originally and then I think it's 50% off of that. And that one's cute, it looks real. I don't, I feel like I have <laughs> more cotton. This is just, what are you supposed to do with this? All the, what What do you call this type of like hammered metal stuff? This is cute. Because it has copper on it. Oh, pink stuff. Oh, this is my section. Ooh. Ooh. They even got pineapples. See, I like this. See, this side is like everything that I love. They even got Antoine up there. They got fluffy stuff, gold stuff, pink stuff. And then this side is like everything I hate. <laughs> Hot pink, <laughs> Paris motif, oh my God. They got my gold foil artwork. I don't need any more stuff like this though. I literally own everything. I can hear you coming from a mile away with those clickety clack clog shoes. <laughs> There's a bunch of gold stuff over here. Stop! <laughs> Stop it! Yeah, you're talking about this section over here? I already found my aisle. Much too much. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. The more I look, the confused or I get. <laughs> I already have that. You said you were gonna take mine. I have to be careful about what kind of mugs I get because they need to be microwave safe. See, this is not microwave safe. If it's shiny, it's usually not microwave safe. Like, and then I could use something else to go at the top of my cabinets next to the grocery sign. See, I feel like Magnolia would put milk, something milk related. <laughs> like, yeah. like not this, but like the actual one of this like a fully metal one or like milk jars or like right. uh so here like, like, like yeah this stuff but bigger they have a ton of stuff in here i need to come to hobby lobby more often oh look yeah see that's that's kind of what i was thinking of i think i can afford this <laughs> how much is it 25 dollars Okay, so you're willing to pay $25 for a fake milk carton, but you won't <laughs> splurge a little on a nice plant. Do you like anything? Yeah, I think it goes with what you, 
It's not my style, personally. But I think it goes with what you want. More cotton? <laughs> you want some cotton? You want some cotton? <laughs> you want some cotton to hang your coats on? <laughs> you could literally have all cotton everything. They have enough cotton stuff to just make your whole house cotton themed. That's terrible. Somebody needs to put a stop to this. See, and I don't, I don't like stuff like this either. You don't know those people. You don't know what they did. Oh, this is horrible. A pig with that says bacon on it. They have a whole section of just this stuff. All this metal milk jug stuff. I like this one better than the one you're holding. Cause there's something about that one, I just don't like the, I don't know, what it says on it or something. It's a little more like, I don't know how to explain it. Okay, I can go with this. 24.99. Yeah, I like that one better. Or maybe a basket, an actual basket. Not like this, like a yeah, basket, not this one, but. This is actually kind of cool because it mixes the metal with the basket. Surprisingly, I haven't found anything that I like. I always end up walking away with random stuff. Mm. Yeah, I was thinking more, like... More not see-through? Well, I don't know. I mean, that's fine. Yeah, that, that does look nice next to the other thing. I still think you should get this plant. <laughs> I kind of want it for myself now, but I don't know where I would put it. But we're walking away with two items. A basket and a milk jug. After all this. Here's my grandma in the parking lot. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> said, looks like grandmother. It is grandmother. <laughs> and I'm filming. All right, guys, so it is later in the day now. It's like 6 p.m. We have had kind of a crazy busy day. So after we got done going to all of those different home decor stores we i picked up zaya from school took her home put her down for nap i had to finish editing a video and get today's video up um we actually had to have the actual conference call that we thought we were going to have this morning we had it this afternoon um and then my mom still has some more errands and more work to do and so we kind of parted ways um while zaya took her nap and then Zaya woke up from her nap and actually my older sister Ashley uh, came into town. So we just pulled up to my mom's house because my older sister is here. So we're going to see her and I guess maybe have dinner or something. And I'm gonna give you guys like a final look at what my mom is trying to have going on with her new home decor in her kitchen. <laughs> what are you doing? Vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> so I, this little piece of your hair in the back is just struggling. Hi, pumpkin poo poo. Did you just wake up? What's the matter? You, what's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> you don't recognize Ashley? What's the matter? Her hair is different. Why is she? Her hair is a little scary. <laughs> you don't want to go to Ashley? What's the problem? I'm sorry because I'm laughing at her. So these are the only two things we bought today. Did you try putting it up there? You don't need a ladder. Hey, well, look at Climbing skills. Climbing skills. Lord Jesus. What are you doing? Even though you don't think they're cool, I think it would be cool to get like a. <laughs> How did you get up there? I just. Oh, just gosh. Gosh. <laughs> I and told you you don't need a ladder. Never mind. All right. Let me see what you're doing. Uh, yeah, there's not much space. Like there. one on either side of it, and then I also think I need to um put one one on that side, and then the other one on that side. Why does it say grocery? Because that's what Does it says. You don't make groceries. You don't make groceries. You make groceries. I was thinking about just, yeah, that looks fine like that, I think. But. You gonna put some fruit in that basket? No fruit. <laughs> um, I think I wanna put some magazines under the grocery sign and make it stand up a little. You can't, you yeah, can't it's kind of cut it. off a little. I mean, it's okay if it's kind of cut off, I guess. So what else did you buy? I bought this plant, which is real. 
It hasn't died yet. <laughs> and the thing, I haven't seen this tray either. That tray I got at a Christmas exchange. And I bought this um, runner with pineapples on it. I'm gonna tell you, bring me a pineapple. But I don't like these placemats with it. This plant today, I need to get, I'm gonna put that there, but I wanna put it in something tall. Is that real? Yep. And about this plant. Are these plants? Yeah, I good luck with all these real plants. I've got that one in my office, I'm really keeping alive. So, about this, I got this yellow, I love these crockery thing. Like that. I got that. This one's fake. Right? Yeah. yeah. This rug. Oh, yeah. And then I got the same in my bedroom. Oh, I did not, I was not picturing what you were describing when you were picturing this, when you were describing this thing. Yeah. That's pretty, um, magnolia as I well. so. I feel like I need a plant, like, right here. Now, we saw plenty of good options today. You can buy one. That you didn't want to get. Alright, guys, so... Something just happened that made me realize I forgot to even end the vlog. We had dinner at my mom's house and I ended up like falling asleep on her couch for a little bit after dinner and my dad came up to me and he was like, uh, are you staying the night or are you going home? And I was like, oh crap, we gotta go home. You know, we still have school tomorrow and uh, Zaya's birthday party at school is tomorrow and stuff. So like I was already super tired, but um, we came back home and uh we were getting ready for bed like i'm just so sleepy you guys we're getting ready for bed i give zaya her milk in a cup milk in a cup okay and she i don't know if she was hungry or what but she just like downed it like she drank it really fast as soon as i gave it to her and then i was just gonna let her sleep in the bed with me tonight just honestly it's easier like i'm super tired Tell me why as soon as I'm about to just lay down and get comfortable She just Sat up in my bed and puked in it. I already stripped the bed of I had all these like extra blankets and stuff On it. So I already stripped the bed of all the layers that had throw up on it And she's as happy as can be now I cleaned her off She doesn't even care but wow isn't it great when you're tired and you just want to go to bed but then your toddler just pukes in your bed so then you have to get up and clean everything and you can't go to bed and then you can't get comfortable in your bed because your comfortable stuff is dirty and in the wash isn't that just dandy you had a boo-boo on your knee yeah, I see it. That's a really, that's an old boo-boo. That's been there a while. I just, for some reason, that made me realize that I never even came back and ended the vlog. So that's the end of the vlog. I put my stuff in the washer, and I'm gonna have to use my little backup blankie tonight to sleep. So yeah, this is kind of just another random vlog. I know you guys have just been asking me to keep vlogging and vlog more, so I'm trying to just bring you guys along for more of my everyday life moments so <laughs> there you go uh and yeah so tomorrow is her little birthday party at school and the next day is a little birthday thing that we're having at my mom's house i'm gonna be vlogging that so stay tuned for birthday vlogs um but yeah other than that i'm too tired to think of a comment of the day so if y'all want to make y'all's own comment of the day in the comments go ahead and do that uh, but I will see you guys in my next video. Bye